thaw means many things. The little squirrels wave their bushy tails and start gathering their nuts. Miley Cyrus and Robin Thicke, but I repeat myself. The Toronto Maple Leafs prepare to carve and climb a new Mount Everest to fan disappointment that Ottawa starts churning again. The Senate, even after the languid days of summer, is still a hot, rich, depressing topic. In midsummer, Mike Duffy evaporated finally from the headlines, but former colleague, fellow Senator Pamela Wallen, kindly took up the slack. Her monstrous $140,000 misestimation of expense claims was right up there with that British lord who charged taxpayers for cleaning his moat. There are no moats in Saskatchewan, but we may wonder, what if there were? Senator Mac Harb, who gives a little liberal color to this mess, decided to return some of the many thousands himself and actually resign from the Senate rather than go through the washing machine again. It has also been noted this was a good way to guard his Senate pension. The scandal has stirred only half-hearted debate about abolishing the Senate. Not that many would weep or to disappear, but the real mood on the Senate is that people are just disgusted by it and weary. It has become the perfect bumbling symbol of everything they despise about politics and politicians. A, the two rules game. The elected and their friends are a different class from everyone else. B, the lack of accountability. Senators get caught, offer to pay back, and the sin disappears. Not that way for anyone else. And C, it displays the unhinged, pseudo-aristocratic sense of entitlement of that class. The scandal and its symbolism have damaged Stephen Harper more than anything previous. It hits him where it most hurts. His competence, his judgment, the promise of accountability, and even on law and order. For it was more than the appointing of Wallen and Duffy. Mr. Harper gave them great prominence and presence, emceeing events, fundraising, and in the case of Mr. Duffy, a lead role as partisan pit bull after quarter century of what all are pleased to call his journalistic impartiality. The self-inflicted wound, as Mr. Harper has learned, frequently cuts the deepest. And with the RCMP and Auditor General having a go at it, this scandal will linger and linger. Naturally, what hurts him, by its nature, helps Trudeau and Mulcair. But there will be no grand leap across the ish trenches on this issue alone. It's difficult to see where it actually makes people move towards Thomas Mulcair nor is the Senate fiasco moving a public disenchanted and depressed about politics in general to lighting any bonfires for another Trudeau at 24 Sussex. Finally, the Senator Frey is Ottawa to the sad letter. All ego and entitlement. Another example of a party that championed ethics out of power, laying waste to them in, and this one has no season, self-interest always at the head of the line. For The National, I'm Rex Murphy.